Hi guys, I'm back with the practice measure volume quiz. So in this one, we're just gonna be practicing multiplying our length times width times height to find the volumes of various um, prisms. So for our first one, go ahead and count up our length, one, two, three, four, times your width, one, two, times my height, one, two, three, four times two is eight, bring down my three, eight times three is 24. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 24. It already says cubic units. It's okay that it doesn't say centimeters or inches. In this case, we don't know what the actual um, measurements are. It's just units. What is the volume of this prism? Again, count the length across. One, two, three. Times your width, one, two. Times your height, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three times two is six. Six times seven, warm like stew. Six times seven is 42. If you work with me in my small group or if you are uh, my child, then you hear me often use that rhyme. So we're gonna put in 42 cubic units here. Next question. What is the volume of this prism? Again, we're gonna count up our length, width, and height. On this one, we actually have to select the remainder as well. They didn't give us the second part here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, times one, two, times one, two, three. Six times two is 12. 12 times three is 36. I see my video cut out there, but it's all right. We're just gonna keep going. The audio still works and so does the writing. So you're gonna put in 36. And then we have to select inches, square inches, or cubic inches. In this case, we're multiplying three measurements, so those are gonna be cubic inches. On the next one, it gives us the measurements already. So we have two times three times five. Two times three is six. Six times five is 30. So type in 30, and it already gives us cubic meters there. I think we have two more left. Again, it gives you the measurements here. We have eight times three times two. Eight times three is 24. 24 times two, well, two times four is eight. Two times two is four, so we have 48 cubic feet. And for our last one, I believe it also gives us the measurements. We have five times four times three. Five times four is 20 times three. Well, if I know three times two is six, 20 times three is 60. So I'm gonna type 60 in here. It already gives us cubic centimeters. And then you are done with this lesson. If you need any other help, please reach out to your classroom teacher or your um, resource teacher, and we're here to help you. Thanks, have a good day, guys.